Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our European Union of Cells campaign. It's Tunisia. Tunis. Alright, I had a, uh, a weird... Uh, I had a crash. My my game crashed. Um, wasn't a blue screen of death. The computer just completely froze. And uh, the video file got corrupt. And I'm playing on Iron Man, so Steam is, uh, you know, it, it still integrated me. But uh, yeah, so... Sorry, integrated? No, it, it still updated the save file. So anyway, um, I don't remember what I had said, and I it, I was like six minutes into the video, so it wasn't very far. Not too much has changed, um, so just beating up on our neighbors. I'm hoping that that crash doesn't happen again. Uh, everything that I read said that uh, it was likely to be a, um, like a driver issue, or possibly that the CPU could need to be cleaned. I'm probably going to do a, a thorough cleaning after today. Might just be dust buildup or something. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure. We'll figure it out later, don't worry. For now, uh, let's see, we got a lot of diplomats free. Uh, we should probably be spying on somebody for technology bonuses. We've got 25s across the board up there. That's a few points we could get. Let's go ahead and spy on France. He's our rival after all. We have four out of six relations because we just integrated our two vassals. We could release some new ones. I think what we'll do is probably uh, take over this lands. I just like the idea of creating client states. It lets you expand so fast, but at the same time, I kind of want to pay admin points since we're behind on dip. You know, we're behind on dipl diplomatic technology. We got another 640 points to sink into diplomatic ideas. We're just not there yet. You have no allies. We might as well. You would exactly actually accept vassalization. Hmm. Kind of funny. Right, so, um, I think I was looking to peace out Songhai when, uh, the game crashed, if I remember correctly. So we have 33 individual war score against him now, we could take a bunch of money, we could take war reps, we can make him on all his alliance with Ottomans, negative 13 reasons for that. So, let's go for the whole sit on his other forts and siege them down. Game's kinda chunking a little bit there, but I think that's normal, uh, that's based on the fact that I, uh, just loaded the game in. It's like Iraq's funneling some troops, or they were. I'm gonna grab all of the Iraqi troops and send them north. Looks like I had already taken care of getting rid of the uh, the integrated troops from Catalonia before the game had crashed. These transports I think I had sent around to here. And then these guys we had told to protect trade in the Gulf of Aden. Which should be here, yes? Yes, it is. What are you up to? You can see in Goa? No, you protect in Gulf of Aden as well. So we have one diplomat free, another one's on the way home. Um, let's check this thing. So we got these guys going somewhere. Looks like we're doing pretty well. Now that we're adjacent to Armenia, and he does have that core, I need to core this. Because apparently Iraq didn't finish it on time. We'll see. Grab these transports, put them in a... Let's see. Do we have... Yes, we have other provinces with good shipyards. Let's dock up in Seuss then. Okay, we are hostile to all this, but we've already got this all occupied, and I want to prepare for a war with this other fella. You were coming over here to pick up this guy. You should probably move over to Corfu, and we'll pop you across the strait here, or across this gulf, into Corsica, or Cosenza, or whatever it's called. Since I imagine we'll probably get caught, let's take a look and see who has the best technology in the world. See, what I don't understand about this crash is I've had zero issues with my computer at all for a long, long time. I did just get my internet upgraded today, but I can't imagine how an internet connection could make your system unstable. That doesn't make any sense at all, does it? I don't know. So Brandenburg, 77, 77, 77. Brandenburg has how much spy defense? 156, that's a lot. You, 149, 150. A far simpler approach would be just to pick pick somebody with good tech, you know, and just spy on them. But I think that trying to find somebody with lower numbers is, is a good idea. We'll spy on two people, just in case we do get kicked out of France right around when I want to tech up. 
which is going to be a little while. Okay, uh, and we want one diplomat free to do these peace deals. Ottomans have gone bankrupt, cool. I'm all for that. We had to take out a loan, sadly. And we are losing money right now. Uh, reinforcements. No mercs, that's good. Four missionaries active. We're rooting out corruption right now. We have corrupt officials at the moment. I think that's actually expiring soon. 29? Yeah, next year. It's gotta be France who's doing it, right? I mean, who else could it be? Right, and the Emir's demand more territory. I think that was something else that I had done that I don't think took. Nope. Uh, that, who knows? Maybe that's actually what made the game crash. I can't imagine why, but uh, maybe it is. I mean, I had gone through and made states in most of these territories. There were only a couple that I didn't want to do. Like, this was one, that's one. Yeah, I want to leave those two. We'll see. Well, I don't know, if the game like just hard freezes and kills my computer, then uh, clearly we're not supposed to do this, right? We won the Siege of Dindy, 30 days, cool. Well, that's probably going to be enough to knock you out now. So 640 gold, that'll pay off our debt, and we get uh, an old treaties, and we get war reps. Sounds good. Goodbye, Songhai. We'll march you guys back up to Sevilla. I'll march you over to our capital to fix you. And we'll have you go up to, like, La Mancha. Let's pop you guys up to Salerno. So we have 99 war score against the Ottomans now. Looks like it's probably about that time, eh? Let's take that peace deal with them. Just waiting on our diplomat. And it forgot my peace deal again, but that's okay. I remember what I want. I want these. I want most of what they own. Pretty much everything, in fact. We're taking you up to Sivas, and then we were also taking this one. And he did have another rebellion. Might as well take your money, might as well take war reps. This 32 stack should come up here. Take care of those two things. Okay. They changed their capital, that's... Fine. I do not have the points to core all this stuff. We're at 92% overextension, which is fine. Sort by cost. It's not going to come any lower, so might as well get them going. And we're not actually integrating anyone right now. As soon as we get to peace, we can try to integrate Armenia. Ottomans are just a shadow of their former glory. Do we want to gain prestige, even though we're at 99? Or gain a whole bunch of money and lose piety? I think we just take the money, actually. We're going to get a bunch of prestige when we end this war. Might as well, right? Pay off our loan. Losing 40 ducats a month now, my goodness. Um, the overextension is affecting our trade power, I think. Okay, so you are on your way up. You're heading up that way and you're heading to the east. Down here, we only have 42 war score. Just go kind of spread out a little bit there. He does actually have a sizable army there. Okay, so for you, I want to just give you a ton of land, right? I want to give, uh, let's see, you're on tech 24, so you have... 40% reduced uh, overextension, so 100 divided by 0.6, we could go up to 166%. 166 development is what we could take. Or it's equivalent to what I have, so I could just take this until it shows 100% overextension. So basically everything you own. 100 piece offer value? Sounds good. Let's go with that. 87% overextension, that's what they'll have. They can handle it. The aggressive expansion doesn't matter. The prestige doesn't matter. We're not paying the admin points. Or the dipple points. We just want all this stuff. I'm probably gonna have to kill that army. 
Southern Tunis there. Look at that. He's actually got a pretty sizable army there. Southern, Northern, and uh, Armenia all working together. Our little buddies. There are no other forts for me to go siege. Crashes like that, man. They just, they, they grate in your mind. Like, I'm trying to... Still just going through it over and over and over again in my head. Like, what could it have been? Even that little tiny hang right there just freaked me out. I thought maybe it was... We were getting it again. And again. Every little time that the game doesn't respond instantly, I'm afraid that the game has just completely crashed and I've just lost X number of minutes of video. Which would suck. Just with the Pope Papal States over now. They're going to take care of cleaning him up all by themselves, aren't they? Why, yes. Yes, they are. 54% war score. Let's take these four up to this side now. States to man control territories because I added so many. For the moment, I don't have to do it. Um... We probably should. I mean, we have quite a bit of autonomy in a lot of these provinces. 60% over here. It is coming down even though we're at war because of our government form. But, um, unrest is only negative 6.3. Overextension is really high. And the non-accepted culture kind of stinks. But, um, I don't know that I actually want to lower autonomy. I might lower autonomy on the coastline or something. And I'm assuming it's the same thing over here. Uh, actually it's negative 80. Can't lower autonomy while you're at war anyway. Let's wait until we see them get pissed off and then we'll give them land. Actually, that's silly. Because with 60% autonomy I could be getting some benefit from this. And we should just do it now. Alright, let's start with the merchant guilds. Any estuaries that we can find. So we got these two. I don't care if they're above 80%. I want them to have that and that. We own Sevilla, but we've already given that to the Merchant Guilds. There are no more estuaries over here. And then we conquered this land, which does have estuaries. Two, in fact. Basra and Baghdad. That takes them up slightly above, so now they're taking it 2% per tick again, which is a little bit dangerous, but I think we'll still be okay. All right, moving on then to the other guys. We've got the Emirs and the Ulema. It really makes no difference to me. This land is all the right religion already, right? Yeah, it's all Sunni already. This is all Sunni already. That's Shia, but it's already been taken care of. So the clergy don't need to be used for conversion purposes. And uh, everything else is just fine. So I think we just look and see which provinces have high military relative. So this is uh, mostly development, most, mostly base tax, Ulema. Um, any provinces with, like, really high manpower for some silly reason. This one actually has more manpower than that one, so we'll give that to the Emirs. Ooh, there we go. That's a good one. La Mancha. We have a gold mine. Nice. I don't want this fort. See, I remember doing that. I remember... Killing that fort last time. Maybe that's what caused the game to crash, right? You never know. Who knows? Ten point one percent. Okay, so they're taken care of, and then the emirs. Let's go check to see down here if there were any provinces with really high relative manpower. We could give them any of this land in here. Eh, nothing really pops up. Let's give them two weak ones. Get them high enough. Now, I could go higher with the intent of just getting the extra tax income from some of the provinces, but they already have good influence. They already have enough loyalty to be happy. I think it's fine. As is. Lost one of our generals. Okay, well, for now, I'm not going to go back up any higher. We have 59 war score against Ethiopia. 
These guys are going into position up here to take care of that stuff. And we are working our way up this way. Religious zeal has expired in Corsica. Good job, my little buddies. Northern Tunis and Southern Tunis. I love when they work together. Seventy-one war score. Austria's giving away land to France. That's not cool. Seventy-six. I mean, every single province is going to be worth a fair bit of war score because there's just nothing else available, right? I mean, we've already occupied everything. There goes his army, we're at 95. Let's say yes. Okay, so yes, all this land, well we could take, maybe we could take one more province. Yeah, we could. 88.8% overextension. Um, I think it's easier to transfer stuff this way. So this is all going to southern Tunis. I don't want a single province for myself. It's definitely faster to do this than to do the, uh, Give province interface. Oh, that one takes forever. But to do that, I also need to occupy every province. So if I wanted to, uh, apparently I also have to reset this whole thing. So that one right now is going to me. We just need to finish that occupation, then we can do it. Wouldn't mind getting rid of this thing too, but it's not connected to him, so I don't think I can sell it or transfer it to him. Stupid Funge. Still kicking myself for that mistake. It's 96. All right, so that is not going to happen. 200 ducats, all that land, all going to southern Tunis. Yes, 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 everything's looking good. Sounds good, goodbye. So you say goodbye, Ethiopia. Suddenly southern Tunis is very large. And the game hung because reasons. Okay, so he's got, uh, yeah, overextension at 4.44. He can handle that. We'll keep an army or two down here to help him. Probably just one is sufficient. Hmm. We'll hang out in the mountains down there. The 16 stack. You know what? I don't think... Well, no. I think we will need it. Let's bring him up here. These were the other derps that had come from somebody somewhere. I wanted to organize my, my navy as well. Okay, so Castile has no allies except for Styria. I think we just attack Castile right now. Styria is up here. Might want to use the, the heavies. Do some damage up there. Close to having flexible negotiation. Got about three siege guys. We have no diplomats to send. Well, that's okay. Got to keep on corn stuff. And uh, before we start our next thing here, I could possibly start trying to integrate Armenia. He's got a lot of land of core, but it's going to take me a while to integrate him. Right? It's 1,100 some diplo points. Maybe we don't do the integration until we finish this idea group. I think that's probably a better idea. Maybe we hold off for a little bit. Ethiopia has rivaled my protectorate. 
Good for them. Give them something to do, right? Well, it looks like we managed to get a whole 20 minutes in without crashing. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's anything specific you think might have caused it, I would love to know. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.